Earlier today, I extended Indiana's public health emergency order for another 30 days. These are not normal times, and we cannot act as if they are. Now at 10 o'clock, the public health emergency extended through May 3rd. Governor Eric Holcomb also ordering Hoosiers to hunker down for another two weeks as the state continues to fight the coronavirus. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brooke Martin. And I'm Phil Sanchez. Thank you for joining us this evening. The extended stay-at-home order will now last through April 20th. News 8's Julia Dang, live at the State House with the very latest. Julia? Well, Phil, that stay-at-home extension, not entirely unexpected after what state health officials call the deadliest 24 hours in Indiana due to COVID-19. Now, all 92 counties in the state are getting ramped up federal support. I'm just a word of thanks. The president of the United States, President Trump, has just approved my request. Hoosier hospitality on display as Governor Eric Holcomb thanked the president for declaring a major disaster in the state of Indiana. For all of our 92 counties. Federal funding now approved to cover about 75 percent of every county's COVID fighting efforts and 100 percent of the National Guard's pandemic-related missions. We additionally, we had requested individual assistance also, and the individual assistance piece is still under review. The state ordering Hoosiers to help each other by staying home longer. The governor's executive order extended by two weeks, now set to last through April 20th. State Health Commissioner Dr. Chris Box outlining why compliance is critical, especially in Indiana. Many of our patients who die of COVID-19 also have multiple underlying medical conditions such as heart disease, lung disease, or diabetes. Unfortunately, Indiana has a higher proportion of individuals who have these conditions as compared to other states. The infection curve and mortality rate changing daily as state health officials compile and share expanded data. We are at the start of this surge. But the numbers top of mind for many tonight are dwindling bank account balances amid record unemployment claims. It comes on the heels of three record breaking years of new job commitments and capital expenditure in Indiana. Because of our tax and our regulatory The governor reminding Hoosiers the sooner we beat COVID-19 the sooner we can get back to work in a state that works. We were crushing it economically speaking and we'll return to that day. And during the virtual State House briefing, the governor indicated his stay at home order could be tweaked come Monday. He did not elaborate on exactly what that may entail. Live downtown, Julia Dang, Wish TV and WishTV.com. And be sure to follow us on Facebook.